Hello everyone, I am Professor Anish Vora and I welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we will study about arc furnace, principle of arc furnace, different types of arc furnace, advantage, disadvantage and application of arc furnace. We start with the principle of arc furnace. When high voltage is applied, between the two electrodes separated by small air gap, then air between the electrodes is ionized. We know that ionized air is conducting medium and then current flows in form of continuous spark which is known as the arc. But to generate ionized air and arc we require very high voltage. Instead, the arc can be produced by short circuiting the electrodes momentarily at normal voltage also. This arc we can use directly or indirectly to generate the heat into the charge. We have different two types of arc furnace. One is a direct arc furnace and another is indirect arc furnace. First, let us study direct arc furnace. The name given direct arc furnace is because we use the arc directly to heat the charge. We can see the direct type of arc furnace in the figure. We have two electrodes for the single phase we use two electrodes. We have heating chamber and charge is filled in the furnace. Arc chamber is made up of metallic framework in cylindrical or conical shape. Refractory lining is provided inside the wall of the furnace. The roof is removable and is provided with holes through which electrodes can be passed. We use electrodes from carbon or graphite and electrodes are replaceable. Temperature can be maintained between 1500 to 2500 degrees centigrade. Charging and pouring doors are provided. At the same time, the similar type of construction we can use for three phase arc furnace also. In case of three phase, we use three electrodes. Now let us study the working of direct arc furnace. We know that we require arc to be generated to hit the charge. So in case of direct arc furnace, arc is formed between two electrodes and the charge in such a way that electric current passes through the body of the charge. What exactly we do is, we short circuit the electrodes with the charge momentarily. So because of short circuit, the spark is generated and that is the arc and the current is passing through the charge itself and that is why the name direct arc furnace is given. Arc is produced in charge itself and that is why more heat and high temperature is produced in direct type of arc furnace. Certain advantage of direct arc furnace, better temperature control is possible through up and down movement of the electrodes. In case of direct arc furnace, electrodes can be moved vertically. We can adjust the distance between the charge and electrodes. When required, we can short circuit the electrodes with the charge and then we can take slightly upward to maintain the arc between electrodes and charge. Because current passes through the charge itself, 
steering action is possible and that is why we get uniform product high temperature is possible contamination is very minimum because the process is in the closed environment and oxidation is not possible so pure metal can be obtained with exact composition refining of metal can be obtained melting can be done in large quantity and that is why the process always remain cheaper application of the direct type of earth furnace because the process is cheaper and we have very high temperature achieved the application of the direct earth furnace is large quantity production of various types of steel melting and refining of matter is possible capacity 5 to 100 ton now let us study the indirect arc furnace the difference between direct and indirect arc furnace is in case of indirect arc furnace we use the arc generated between electrodes through the radiation indirectly to hit the charge. Now let us see the construction of the indirect arc furnace. We have two electrodes for single phase. The arc is generated between the electrodes. We have charged the entire steel cell as the furnace and additionally we have rocking wheels. The single phase indirect arc furnace is cylindrical in shape. Arc chamber is made of metal framework inside of chamber with refractory lining. Carbon or graphite electrodes are used. In this type of furnace, since no current passes through the body of the charge, there is no inherent steering action due to electromagnetic forces set up by the current. So, steering action is not possible in case of indirect arc furnace. Hence, such furnace have to be rocked continuously in order to distribute heat uniformly by exposing different layers of the charge to the heat of the arc. And for that, uh, the rocking wheels are provided and we continuously rock at different angles as melting process goes on. The single phase indirect arc furnace is cylindrical in shape and the arc is struck by short circuiting the electrodes manually or automatically for a moment and then withdrawing them apart. Arc is formed between two electrodes above the charge and heat is transmitted to the charge by way of radiation. The heat from the arc and the hot top layer of the charge is further transferred to the other part by way of conduction. We have certain advantage of indirect arc furnace. Flexibility. The furnace can be used for any different alloys. High melting speed. Very sound casting process can be possible. Because the process is in the closed environment, metal losses are very low and the entire process is quite economical. Application. Indirect type of arc furnace is most suitable for melting non-ferrous metals due to purity and the small capacity. Useful for small quantity products at different time intervals. Capacity 0.25 to 3 tons. Thank you for watching my video. Keep watching. Thank you very much.